you're telling me that in those 2,000 years of history, he couldn't find one pope that would agree with what he just said? The church teaches in the light of the gospel that the death penalty is inadmissible because it is an attack on the inviolability and dignity of the person? Couldn't find one pope to agree with him? Couldn't cite one pope, one doctor of the church? to agree with that teaching. And the reason he couldn't do so is because no one has ever taught that. No one. As a matter of fact, we have a list of 12 popes here, 12 popes who actually disagree with Pope Francis and his teaching, okay? Going all the way back to the year 405 A.D., Pope Innocent I, he said about the death penalty, it must be remembered that power was granted by God, and to avenge crime, the sword was permitted. He who carries out this vengeance is God's minister. What motive have we for condemning a practice that all hold to be permitted by God? And it is permitted by God as we are told by Jesus Christ when he looks at Pontius Pilate and he says, you would have no power over me were it not given to you by my Father in heaven. Plain as day, right? Out of the mouth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, God himself. In the year 1210 A.D., Pope Innocent III, the secular power can, without mortal sin, carry out a sentence of death, provided it proceeds in imposing the penalty, not from hatred, but with judgment, not carelessly, but with due solicitude. Pope Paul III, from 1534 to 1549. Pope Paul III excommunicated Henry VIII, in 1538 and opened the Council of Trent in 1945. The punishments to be meted out were specified imprisonment, execution, and confiscation of goods in the case of those condemned to death. That's from a papal bull. Okay? Pope Julius III, from 1550 to 1555, as a young man, Pope Julius was imprisoned on death row during the sack of Rome by mercenaries of Emperor Charles VII. Later, as a cardinal, he tried to persuade convicts to repent, but still enforced the death penalty many times. Okay? Pope Pius IV, from, 19, from 1559 to 1565, reconvened the Council of Trent and shepherded it. To conclusion, Pope Pius IV made full use of the death penalty. Pope St. Pius V, from 1566 to 1572, St. Pius V implemented the reforms of the Council of Trent, including the Roman Catechism, and promulgated the 1570 Roman Missal used until 1970. His papal bull of July 13, 19, uh, 1566, threatened the death penalty for all who dared to give shelter to murderers or outlaws. Pope Pius V oversaw many executions. Okay? And let's see. Uh, let's go down to Pope Sixtus V. Listen to this one. Pope Sixtus V, from 1585 to 1595 years. Okay? And he was... Uh, uh, known as the Iron Pope. He launched a much-needed anti-crime campaign resulting in over 7,000 criminals being executed. Okay? So from 1585 to 1590, five years, right? Even I can add that up, right? <laughs> pope Sixtus V from 1585 to 1590, five years, launched a much-needed anti-crime campaign resulting in over 7,000 criminals being executed. 7,000 criminals in five years. Now, watching this uh, Netflix series, docu-series, on uh, the uh, death penalty, okay, 
at the beginning of every episode, they, they, they state the following. Uh, they, they say that from 1976, from the time that the death penalty was reinstituted in the United States, from 1976 to the present time, so you're talking about 42 years, okay? I did the math before I got on the show, okay, before I got behind the, the Cafeteria Catholic's microphone, right? So 42 years, in 42 years, according to this Netflix docu-series, 8,000 men or women, men and women, have been put to death in the United States through the death penalty. And so we can say that uh, as St. Pope John Paul II taught, the death penalty should be applied in rare instances. Okay? And that's pretty rare from 1970 in 42 years we we've put to death through the death penalty 8,000 uh, men and women we have a whole lot more abortions a year than we ever will have uh, uh, people put to death through the death penalty in this country unfortunately right but Pope Sixtus the fifth put to death or he oversaw 7,000 executions 7,005 years this is a pope he apparently felt thought that there was some good right coming out of these uh, executions right and I can go on and on pope after pope pope clement the 8th 1592 to 1605 it was uh, during the papacy of Clement VIII that Robert Cardinal Bellarmine wrote an influential book, The Art of Dying Well. Bellarmine's approach was that the condemned man could actually be rehabilitated by his suffering and repentance, which would transform his execution in, into an expiation, and his death could be a good death. All right, and actually, that is uh, in accordance with the teaching of the Catholic Church in uh, the Catechism, right? Because our Pope, Pope Francis, he has revised paragraph twenty-two uh, sixty-seven, but paragraph twenty-two sixty-six. What about it? Right? It says uh, the efforts of the state to curb the spread of behavior harmful to people's rights and to the basic rules of civil society correspond to the requirement of safeguarding the common good. Legitimate public authority has the right and the duty to inflict punishment proportionate to the gravity of the offense. Punishment has the primary aim of redressing the disorder introduced by the offense. When it is willingly accepted by the guilty party, it assumes the value of expiation. Right? That's right out of the teaching of St. Robert Bellarmine. And so the, there is redeeming value, the church has taught, in applying, morally applying the death penalty. But no longer under the Pope Francis pontificate. 